Nearly everyone in the Columbia County Sheriff's Office wears body cameras these days. That means there's a lot of video from last August when a police dog was used on Christopher Bartlett. His lawyer says things started going sideways during lunch. Brings him his lunch tray. Mr. Bartlett does say an, a few unkind things. He does. Bartlett is no stranger to the Columbia County Jail. His attorney says he insulted a female jailer and things quickly escalated. That officer then calls for backup from outside of the jail, classifying this as a security threat, that, that Mr. Bartlett is taking his lunch tray and threatening officers' lives, and the video just, just doesn't support that. The video shows a group of deputies gathering outside Bartlett's cell. There's a police dog barking. He's told to put his hands through the opening to be handcuffed and does not. And then the door is unlocked and the police dog attacks. But it's what happened next that made the lawyer suspicious and angry. He said no one involved in the use of force wrote up a report until the video turned up two months later. And those reports, they just, they did not match what the video showed at all. He said they're supposed to be written individually. I also thought that it was odd that many of the reports had the exact same language, the same typos, so we were fairly confident that there was a high level of coordinated efforts going on to get their story straight. And so the lawyer sued, demanding $500,000 for cruel and unusual punishment. The county settled without admitting wrongdoing. It will pay $251,000 plus attorney's fees. Do you think the deputies and the jailers did nothing wrong? I believe that it was an appropriate use of force, and I believe that the, uh, the evidence would support that if we had gone to trial. Not only does the acting sheriff stand behind that use of force, he insists there was no attempt at a cover-up. Although he agrees the video is a problem. The optics of the video could lead a jury to believe that, uh, that we did something wrong when we didn't. Well, I think the point that the other side uh, would make is that he was not resisting or violent at all, that when the door opens, he's cowering. I don't believe that at all, and I've seen the video, too. We thought we'd give you one more look. This is a slowed-down version from the body camera of the dog handler. You decide, is the inmate cowering or attacking? The inmate's attorney says this $250,000 will be put into a trust fund admitted by somebody else to try and help Mr. Bartlett get his life back on the right track. By the way, the sheriff's office did not have a policy here about using canines in the jail. They do now, and it is allowed if the sheriff or the jail commander thinks it's necessary. Back to you. Boy, that body cam video is hard to watch. Slow it down, too. It makes it tough. Thank you, Pat.